Let's look at the, the raid. Kazara. Ooh. It's a armored dragon. Drops a trinket. Two trinkets. Very rare trinket. Let's read this one first. A uh, bunch of agility. Your attacks and abilities have a chance to grant you ephemeral dragon wings. Increasing your crit by 908 and your leech by 256 for 15 seconds. Uh, use Call Upon and Echo of Neltharion's power to crash to the ground below you. Dealing 16,503 shadow flame damage to nearby enemies if you have traveled at least 15 yards. What does that mean? Call upon an echo of Neltharion's power to crash to the ground below you. I wonder if getting the ephemeral dragon wings lets you fly and then you use the trinket to land on something. It's kind of interesting. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to test these. They usually put a vendor that has all of them. Okay, fortified dread slab. Use, gain five stacks of fortified dread slab plating, reducing damage you take by 3,979, but reducing your movement speed by 3% and dodge chance by 1% per stack. Reducing your dodge chance? Taking 33,000 damage consumes one stack, rupturing the plating to unleash a dread ray, dealing 11,000 dam 11, shadow flame damage to enemies caught in its path. Oh no. It has the placeholder Castle Nathria transmog. Oh no. Um, so yeah, this boss looks pretty sick. Kazara. I saw the preview of this guy, but I didn't think it would be the first boss. I mean, maybe the order will change, but... Okay. Molgoth. He's, uh, elemental? Oh, it's a council fight. It's a shadow one, a fire one, and another fire one? The creation of Shadowflame destroyed countless elementals. Now only the strongest remain. Krozgoth and Moltania. One of shadow, the other of fire. These powerful elementals combine their power to create a force of ultimate destruction. Oh. So they probably combine together to make Molgoth. So you got a shadow one, you got a fire one. You mix them together and you get this one. Makes sense. Trinket. Elementium Pocket Anvil, your Sinister Strike, or your Spec Filler, whatever that is for your spec, has a low chance to cause an Echoed Flare a moment later, dealing 19,000 Shadow Flame damage to your target. Use Strike Your Weapon Against the Anvil to bend its latent energy to your will, permanently increasing the chance of Echoed Flare until you leave combat for 10 seconds. This chance is significantly increased for 10 seconds after each use. I will say, these trinkets that they're... Putting in the raids, this expansion are pretty interesting. They're very interactive. I like that. Experimentation of Drakthir. We got Neldris. Ooh. Thadrion. This guy's spooky. This guy looks horrifying. Ryanthus and Erratic Remnant, which we can't see. Another trinket. Resonates with the power of the Chosen Dragonflight, granting 487 secondary stat. Allies with a different resonance gain 54 secondary stat. This effect does not stack. Use Tune the Orb to resonate with a nearby Dragonflight Oath Stone in the Dragon Isles. I don't know what that means, but that's pretty sick. It's a big ol' stat stick. Except of secondary stats, I guess. Not primary. Zakali Invasion. Oh god, this is a fight with a lot of mobs. We got Warlord Cagney. Is he not uh, a boss in Naltheris? Or am I going crazy? No, he is not. Okay, I am going crazy. Close enough. Warlord Sarga, that's what I was thinking of. Okay, Warlord Cagney, Ignara, which is a bird. Zakali Wall Climber, Flamebound Huntsman, Magma Mystic, Obsidian Guard. This sounds like a big AoE fight, which is great for Demon Hunters. Um, yeah, there's not really any, uh, encounter text here. That's fine, though. We'll come back to it. Rashok. Ooh. This guy is mystical looking. Rashok, once a great leader of the, of the Zakali, was imprisoned within these halls for millennia. His molten blood constantly siphoned the power of the Crucible. The Elder was kept on the brink of death, driving him mad. Due to the recent chaos, Rashok has broken his restraints and seeks revenge on any that cross his path. Whoa. 
When Rashok reaches 100 energy, he gains Ancient Fury and pulses deadly shadow flame damage to all nearby players. So it's damage every three seconds. Rashok's powerful Searing Slam creates Lava Reservoir, which explodes with living lava throughout the encounter. Dang. Zakarn? Ooh. There's a lot of shadow flame in this raid, I'm noticing. Like, even the armor has that kind of look to it. This guy drops a trinket. That does nothing. Nice. Give some crit, and nothing. I saw something on this uh, boss list that I'm trying to avoid exposing. Because it's, uh, it's pretty big. Okay. Magma rocks. Ooh. A three-headed dragon? Would you guys say this is a dragon? Probably, right? Dragon? Dog? Hydra? That would be a sick mount. Yeah. One person on each head. That'd be sick. Ooh, a weapon. Lava Hydra is what it's called. Yeah. Close enough. Its eyes never close. Its will never breaks. Magmarox, the beast of legend, guards the passage into the deepest chambers of the Shadowed Crucible. Ooh. Okay, here's the big spoiler, guys. You ready? This is the big spoiler. If you're trying to avoid spoilers, close, close, close the stream. I'm warning you. You have 10 seconds. Big spoiler. Five, four, three, two, one. We're fighting Naltharian. How? I don't know. Before the name Deathwing was whispered in terror, Naltharian was known as the Earth Warder. During this time, the aspect of Earth used his powers to construct a massive hall deep beneath the surface where he accumulated secret knowledge. A visage of the Black Dragon still resides within the Crucible, waiting for an opportunity to continue the work started so long ago, at any cost. Overview. Naltharian uses his power as the Earth Warder to summon walls of rock and split the arena, confining players and creating deadly fissures. When brought to X% percent and Y% percent health, Naltharian surrenders to corruption, summoning uh, voices from beyond that empower him with dangerous shadow spells. He'll cast increasingly powerful annihilation, annihilating shadows until he is no longer empowered by voices from beyond. <clears throat> After having surrendered to corruption twice and having all voices from beyond slain twice, Naltharian begins to rip open portals in a final bid to overwhelm players with twisted aberrations and the unstoppable might of his ebon destruction. Ooh. Spooky. Oh, very rare trinkets. He drops three very rare trinkets, one supposedly not so rare trinket. So they each have different secondary stats. There's a crit, there's a verse, and there's a haste one. And the effect is your area effect spells and abilities have a chance to grant you 3,114 agility for 12 seconds. During this time, damage you receive is increased by 5%. So that's area, area effect spells. The verse one, your harmful debuffs, periodic spells, and abilities have a chance to grant you agility. 12 seconds. During this time, you bleed for 48,000 nature damage over 12 seconds. Oh, they're class, they're class uh, requirements. So warrior, paladin, mage, demon hunter, evoker for the first one, for the crit one. Um, the verse one is rogue, priest, death knight, and druid. Haste, hunter, shaman, warlock, monk. Your summons attacks have a chance to grant you 5,000 agility for 12 seconds. During this time, you are slowed by 10%. Ooh. Yeah. I'm not too worried about this one for Demon Hunter, obviously. Uh, damage you take is increased by 5%. That could definitely come back to bite you in certain situations, but I think with our Leech and whatnot, at least it's, it's not as bad as other classes. Let's just say that. Cool. All right, this one. Ward of Faceless Ire. Gives primary stat. Grant an ally Writhing Ward for 10 seconds, absorbing up to 192,000 damage. If broken, the ward coalesces into Writhing Ire, dealing 24,000 Shadow Flame damage over 6 seconds to the last enemy to strike it. Eh. Eh. And then the final boss. I guess we're not fighting... 
I thought we would fight the Primal Incarnate. What was he called? Virak? I guess we're not fighting him. We're fighting Scale Commander Sarkareth? Unless Neltharion is the last boss. It has to be, right? Because Scale Commander Sarkareth, his loot table looks pretty underwhelming. But then, like, Neltharion has the trinkets and whatnot. I, yeah, I would think Neltharion's probably the final boss. Scale Commander's probably second to last. Oh, look at that Warglaive, dude. Ooh. I like it because it's wide. The Mythic one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we should check if there's, um... Mythic specific loot. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice purple. What does heroic look like? Same thing. Normal. Slightly different variations of yellow. <laughs> so, Sarkareth drops a very rare cloak. Haste and verse. But there's nothing special about it. I wonder if they plan on adding some type of effect to that. Probably, right? Like that doesn't seem doesn't seem very exciting. But yeah, I'm under the impression that Neltharion is probably the final boss. Visage doesn't scream final boss to you. I mean it's gonna be his like humanoid form, right? And then it's by the sounds of it, he's gonna be ripping open like void portals, there's gonna be ads coming in. And then he's at some point going to give in to the whispers and he'll probably transform. It sounds like it could be a pretty epic fight. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Scale Commander Sarkareth is the final one and there's just something else going on. Um, what does it say, the overview? Formerly one of the five Scale Commanders of the Drakthir, Sarkareth broke away to rebel against the Dragonflights. Now leader of the Sundered Flame, Sarkareth leads an army into Naltherian's Shadow Crucible to claim the power within and use it to overthrow the Aspects. Skill Commander Sarkareth begins the battle using his strengthened Drakthir heritage to crush, crush his foes. He, he starts the fight early on with a pressing roar and attempts to obliterate players with glittering surge. When weakened, he draws upon the power of the Void to enhance his draconic powers. Using Abyssal Breath and Ebon Might to summon and strengthen images of himself. Upon being damaged further, Sarkareth destroys the room to fully draw in powers of the Void and convert his abilities to their most powerful forms. Okay, well, maybe maybe Sarkareth is the last boss. God damn, look at that sword. Ooh. That's a big sword. Isn't Sarkareth from the video? Yes. In the cinematic that just came out, Sarkareth was one of the two Drakthir's um, spying on the Incarnates. Pressing Howl, Sarkareth releases a bone-shaking Howl at all players, pushing them away and increasing the incoming effects of Mast Disintegrate, Searing Breath, and Glittering Surge. Pushes them away, you say? Hmm. Is this Razageth 2.0? Yeah, I don't know. This, this could be the last boss. Hmm. Well, either way. I'm still confused as to why we're not fighting Firak 